hello youtube family welcome back to my channel first i want to start off by saying hey i miss y'all um everybody that is new to my channel hi my name is candace i am your youtube instructor so disclaimer if you're new to my channel i never went to fashion school i'm not picture perfect i don't know how to measure um I will show you how to make some money though. I will show you an easy way to still make product and still get the same result as making money off of it and making quality product. Um, if you are looking for someone that is picture perfect, that has all their um, communication skills and all of that stuff down, honey, I'm not the one for you at all. I am looking to serve the community that has a hard time with um difficult things that have a hard time with measuring that has a hard time with you know like my stuff is copy and paste you literally sit stuff down on top of your fabric you sit my patterns down on top of your fabric and you go in on the fold if you need it smaller you go out on the fold if you need it bigger i will show you what i'm talking about this is our skirt we're making a, a circle skirt today so this is the circle skirt. Wait a minute. Yeah, this is gonna be the circle skirt. Let me make sure this is tight in. So it'll be good right here. We are using a serger only today, you guys. So if you don't have a serger, you can still do this. Um, you can do it with a sewing machine. You just have to go over the pieces multiple times. We're doing a circle skirt and we're gonna add a piece of elastic around the band, you see it? So, I'm gonna get the circle skirt so y'all can see it. But that's the way that it's gonna look. Can you see the way that it's gonna look? It's gonna look like that. So y'all listen, I did not know how to make this circle skirt. Um, I watched a YouTube before and a girl made a circle skirt, but I made the waist too big. And then I had a previous client that um, also has circle skirts, but she sent me the pattern for it, but I'm not good with um, PDF files yet. So I didn't even know how to print it out, tape it together. I, I couldn't follow it. It was just too busy for me, which is not, it might be so easy for someone else, but for me, it was too busy. So I wasn't able to, well, I didn't get a chance to print it out and tape it together and do all of that. I didn't, I didn't know what to set it on whenever you print it out. Like it was just crazy. So I appreciate her for sending me that. Um, but a client, another student came and she wanted to make a circle skirt. So I was like, shoot, what am I going to do? She want to make a circle skirt. I never made a circle skirt. Well, I didn't finish it. So long story short, um, we ended up making a circle skirt. Um, I went back to the YouTube that I had looked at before and I played around with the waistline, which is right there because what was happening was I was making the waistline too big. So by the waistline being too big, the skirt was falling off. And even on the mannequin, the skirt was falling off. So I played around with it a few times, messed up a few times. Now I have the correct size. And we're about to make this circle skirt. So, you guys, I do sell this pattern. This pattern is $25 plus shipping. It is real simple. All you do is put it on your fabric, which like I said, we're about to do right now. Wait a minute. Gotta get some lotion because my hands are gonna be ashy and then y'all gonna be talking about my ashy hands. And you ain't supposed to be looking at my ashy hands. You only supposed to be looking at what I'm teaching. So, y'all, I would love to know where y'all from. I would love to know what y'all working on. I would love to see anything that you are doing that you learn from my channel. Um, I would love for y'all to DM me on Instagram and send me pictures and stuff. Um, the only thing I do ask, if this video helps you in any kind of way, this is free knowledge. I do have four kids. I could be right here with my kids. I don't have no boyfriend yet, but... I could be doing something else. But the fact that I'm sitting here recording this for free and trying to help, the only thing I ask, if you could not skip 
the ads, please, because that is how I feed my kids, and I would greatly appreciate it. And you're getting free information. So I think it's a fair exchange, no robbery, right? I don't think I'm asking for a lot. Because you're learning something that you can use for the rest of your life. And then you can teach somebody else and make some money. Without nothing invested in it. Only thing you got to do is like, share, and don't skip the ads. Okay, y'all. So here go, here go the fabric, right? So we're going to fold our fabric. The reason why we're going to fold our fabric is because our pattern is folded. I'm going to show you the pattern. So, here's the pattern. We're going to fold the pattern exactly the length and exactly the width of... And this, this one is too big. So, this is not the correct one. But you're going to see what I'm going to do. So, if you're new to my channel, you know that, well, if you're new to my channel, we do a square or a rectangle around our fabric, around our pattern. That way, we don't have a big hole in our fabric when we go back to use it, right? So, now we got it cut out. Well, we have that part cut out, right? So we line it up. I would suggest putting something heavy on your stuff so it won't move. And now you can cut around it. And like I told y'all, this is not the correct size in the center. So even if you try to screenshot it and do it, instead of buying the pattern, you're not going to have the exact size. So you're going to have to play around with it if you're trying to be cheap and not buy the pattern. Okay, so now we got it. So this, I'm gonna make it a little smaller around the waist. You see how the difference is? So I didn't want it super, super big because the elastic will stretch it anyway. I think I'll go one more. Yeah, like that. So you see it? So now, all we have to do is put some elastic right there, and then we have our circle. So let's put this white one together. We're going to white. Oh, you guys, if you're interested in um, purchasing the pattern, you can contact me direct. It is 323-474-92. 9-3. Or you can contact me directly on Instagram at Hidden Agenda Brand. I'm going to bring y'all close so y'all can see it. Hidden Agenda Brand. All one word, all together. Um, I would love for y'all to follow us on Hidden Agenda Brand YouTube, I mean Instagram, and join our Facebook group. We have a Facebook group. It's called Hidden Agenda Sewing Family. Y'all, and we do deals every single day on our story on Instagram. Do not miss the deals. Okay, let's sew. So, like I said, this is a serger. You do not have to have a serger. I'll try to turn it around so I can make sure that y'all see me. I think that's a good view. Right here. So the first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna turn our fabric, the shiny part, which is the outside, right here. So we're sewing shiny up. After you measure around the waistline with the elastic, if you're adding elastic, you then fold the part and close it. Oh, also make sure your thread matches so it don't look tacky. So when you're doing it, when you're adding your elastic, hold it tight so it won't move. Look. Cut 
Cut your strings exactly from it. Exactly. Go over it a couple times. Oh man, it's vibrating and stuff. I didn't want it to vibrate on y'all. I'm sorry. So once you cut it, you see how we cut it exactly from it? Like that. So then whenever we turn it inward, it looks like that. So now you take your skirt. This is our skirt. This is our waistline. You can start it anywhere. What I do is, everybody's different. This is how I suggest you do it. Now, our stuff is supposed to look like this on it, right? This is the way that it looks to where our Barbie is up. So if our Barbie is up like this, we sit it on the edge and we fold it forward. But I suggest you starting from your seam. So here go your seam. So sit it on it, on the front, the outside of your skirt, and fold it forward like this. So when you fold it forward, we're gonna line it up on the edge like that, and we're gonna stitch all the way around it. So look. And I suggest, I suggest, y'all hear me, right? You hear my wording. I suggest if you have your seam right here, don't go up against the needle foot. Lay it back to where it rolls down on it. So line it up first. Only a little portion of it. A little portion of it. You see how I'm lining it up? Right there. Only a little portion. Hold this part down and stitch, but push it through. Because it's thick. You push it through. And then you have to take your time. You have to take your time. Because you have to make sure these two are lined up on the edge. You see it? If not... If you don't get both of them, you're going to have a hole. And I'm going to take my time because I have been getting um, people telling me that they hope I slow down. I'm slowing down. If you need to go faster, you're welcome to speed the video up. You see how I'm, I'm making sure it lines up? So now look. If you have more... Let me just go back. Yeah, go back a little more. Okay. If you have more fabric... Mm -hmm. If you have more fabric than elastic... Let me show you what to do. Line it up, right? But you're gonna have to pull on your elastic a little bit. Hold it and stitch. Now connect it to iPhone. Alexa, stop, time, uh, stop whatever you're doing. So look. One hour timer canceled. So I, I pulled on it a little bit, right? And now I'm gonna stitch regular. And then I'm going to pull on it just a little bit more because you see how it's more fabric. But I'm not going to pull on it consistent in the same space. <laughs> Alexa, stop. What the hell? Sorry, y'all. So I'm not going to pull on it consistent in the same place because if you do, it's going to bunch up. So now I can pull it a little more so it'll even out. You see how this is bigger? The fabric is bigger. So I'm gonna pull on it right now because I already um, didn't pull on, it on the one that I just did. So look, you see how it's still not evened out? Oh, wait a minute, let me see. You see how it's still not evened out? Cause it's more fabric. So I already pulled on that part. So now I'm just gonna stitch a little bit regular so it won't bunch up. And now I'm gonna pull on it. Oh, shoot. 
You see how I did it? And line this back up to where it's even. And then I'm gonna go over it for the second time. But when I go over it, you have to make sure your skirt is not getting caught up underneath it and you're only flatten it exactly the same place. Because if you put your skirt, let me show you. I should not be vibrating like that, y'all. It's this dang gun machine. So look, I would suggest flipping it so you can see it. So now put your, um, put it under the needle foot and you can see that this part of the skirt is not gonna catch right here. Because if it catch right here, you're gonna see me a skirt you're gonna stitch your skirt. So look, I'm just gonna go over it for the second time to secure it and make sure it lasts for a long time. I'm gonna meet where I started. Cut my strings, flip it up. Here go my skirt. So now, here go my skirt. You see it? So you can trim the bottom, or if you have a serger, you can do this and call it the day. Let me show you. Cause this is all I'm gonna do. I'm gonna call it the day. I can one, fold it under like this, and just do a zigzag all the way around on the skirt. Or I can lay it flat down like this with a serger. And just roll it through on the edges. Look. This is with a serger, not a sewing machine. This is gonna give you that look only on a serger, not a sewing machine. With a sewing machine, I would suggest you folding it under and either straight stitch or zigzag it. I'm trying to go slow so it won't shake the, the camera as much. So this is what it looks like on the end. And this is only with a serger. A sewing machine is not gonna give you this look. So now my skirt's done. Let me put it on the manne mannequin so I can show y'all what's going on. Wait one second, let's get the mannequin. Ugh. Okay, let me turn y'all around. Raise y'all up, sit you right here. I can't wait till I get a camera person. But at least y'all gonna be with me from the beginning. So here you go. So let's put it on this mannequin. Top too, ain't that something? Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. It can be a little top. Okay. Come through top. Look. <clears throat> We're gonna put it down and make the skirt. Put it in the center. Let's cut off our ugly strings. 
And look how quick you can make a skirt. Look how quick you can make a skirt, y'all. Look at that. Simple, right? Simple. Look. I want a skirt. Tell me what y'all think about the video. If you liked it, thumbs up. Give me a thumbs up. Share it with somebody. Like, share it with somebody. You got some free knowledge today. Y'all know that we get what we put out in the world. You know that, right? So you would love for somebody to help you learn something new, right? By sharing something for the free 99? Shoot. So y'all, listen to me. Purchase the skirt pattern. Like, come on. You can, All you need is your fabric. You just put it on here. And you just do exactly what I just did. You just use this video as much as you needed to. And let me tell y'all something. Everybody that's out there new, do not rush your process. Take your time, mama. You eat, mama, brother, whoever, whatever. Y'all, take your time. Just because I did this in this short amount of time, I've been doing this type of work since 09. So I done failed. I done messed up a million things. So now I'm able to teach you how to do it. If you feel like you still need help further, I do in-person and virtual classes. I'm located in Charlotte, North Carolina. Like I told y'all, I have sales every single day. Go to my Instagram, turn your notifications on so you won't miss the sales. If you need help with anything, any uh, any outfit you see somebody in, any screenshot you might have in your phone from any designer, all you have to do is text me the picture. I can create you a pattern 99% of the time. If it's something I have not done, what I will do is be honest and tell you, look, I don't know, I ain't did that yet. I would then try to find out how to do it. I would do it, test it out, and if it works, then I can sell you the pattern. Does that make sense? So if you need any help, if you're starting your exotic wear business, I do business and marketing classes. I also help you create a blueprint A blueprint to follow. Um, I have already owned my own store. Um, I do marketing, I help you with marketing, I help you with anything that you need. If you need vendors, my vendor for this material is $5. My vendor for this is a dollar to $2 a yard. Um, I have crystal vendor, I have every vendor, anything that you need in this business I have. So I really hope y'all enjoyed the video. Please, please come and join us um, in our Facebook group. You are allowed to post anything that you make. The only thing you cannot post and you cannot sell is vendors and patterns. And that's because that's how I make a living. But anything else you want to sell, come over, post it, sell it. It's a lot of people in there. No telling how you can get you a new income. Um, what else? So Instagram, follow. TikTok, follow. Facebook um, group under Hidden Agenda Sewing Family. And you guys, my direct number is 323-474-9293. And purchase now before December the 1st because my prices do increase. I increase my knowledge throughout the year, so I feel it's only right for me to increase my prices. So I hope y'all really enjoyed this video. I would love to see the skirts that y'all make from this video. DM me and let me see them and do not skip the ads if this video helped you. Okay, I'll see y'all later.